What's up guys, this is Matt from the Nerdy Review. Today I'm going to be making our first video tutorial on Autodesk Fusion 360. So for this video, I'm just going to do a brief introduction to the program. I'm going to go over the basic user interface and then I'm going to do an example for you. So getting started, your program should look something like this when you open it for the first time. Over here on the right, you're going to see your data panel, or the left I should say, your data panel. And your data panel is just a file browser. So I'm going to open a file that I made earlier for a simple bracket. And this is the example file that I'm going to show you guys how to model. But before we get started doing that, I'm going to go over a few other things. So very important thing to go over is your user preferences. This is how you can customize the program to you know your fit. And the first thing that a lot of people will want to do is change their pan, zoom, and orbit shortcuts. If you came from another CAD program, this, it's going to be different. So, you know, you're going to want to choose whatever you're comfortable with. I came from SolidWorks, so I use SolidWorks. All right, so you can pan and orbit, change your viewpoint however you wish. You can also use this cube up in the top right. Go to your home view, front view, back to your home, top, right, boom, whatever viewpoint you want. All right, so next we're going to get started on actually modeling this bracket. So we're going to start a new design, and then we're going to click Create Sketch. So to make three 3D models, what you do is create sketches and then extrude them into a three-dimensional shape. So whenever you make a sketch, you have to choose the plane or the face that it's going to sketch onto. Uh, I'm not going to explain what this means too much right now because it'll become more apparent as you use the program for more than a day or two. So we're going to click the top plane. And then... Up here, you can see all your different sketch tools. We're going to choose a center diameter circle. Actually, check that. First, we're going to choose a rectangle. We're going to add dimensions to our rectangle. I want to make this rectangle 50 by 100. Then I want to make two circles. So right here, this is the midpoint of the line. I'm going to use the midpoint of the line to set the center of the circles, which I am then, I am then going to add dimensions to the inside circles. And make them both 30. Now I could have set them equal, but uh it takes about the same amount of time to just dimension two of them. If there was more of them, I would have set them equal definitely, but wouldn't have saved much time there. So right now we wouldn't be able to extrude this into anything because there's too many open or closed contours. So we're gonna clean it up using the trim tool. So the trim tool lets us delete lines strategically which is what's important. I'm going to delete these inside circles here. And delete this line. Then I'm going to stop sketch. Now we're going to use the create extrude. All right, so extruding, this is basic concept number two. We go from sketching to extruding. You can pull this little arrow here, or you can type in a distance. We're already on 10. Make it 10 millimeters. Next, we need to make these top portions here. So to do this, I'm going to click this face of the object and click Create Sketch. I'm going to create two rectangles. I'm 
I'm gonna make it's 25 millimeter distances. And I'm gonna make it 15 millimeters thick. I'm gonna set these equal to each other. Make them collinear. Do stop the sketch. Go back to our home view. We we'll do select them both and extrude them fifty millimeters in height. Click OK. Okay, now I'm going to show you the modify tools. So we're going to use chamfer first, which creates a beveled edge, as you can see in the preview picture. I'm going to select what edges to chamfer. I'm going to give it a 15 millimeter chamfer, which is actually bigger than we did in the original drawing, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to create another sketch, this time on our front face. I'm going to give dimensions. sketch. Okay, now we're going to do a cut. So you're going to select extrude just like you would when you made these objects, but instead we're going to go to operation over here. We're going to choose cut. Press OK. Now you have your hole there. So the last step to complete our bracket is these fillets here. So again, we're going to select modify. We're going to choose fillet. Now a fillet is a rounded, a rounded corner. I'm going to restart that. So a bevel created this diagonal edge. This is going to create a rounded edge. We're going to give it five millimeters. And there you go. You have a finished bracket. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first video tutorial and stay tuned for more.